guys, welcome back to another episode of Coffee Break. We have a slightly different setting today because the weather has been horrible all day, so I didn't really want to sit in a car when it's pouring with rain and there's no heating or anything, so I thought that we would do it in my room for today and see how it goes. Obviously, as long as you have coffee, you can do Coffee Break anywhere. Um, we also have Cleo here, who is being very temperamental. She wants to play with all her really loud toys, so if you hear some squeaking, I do apologise. I will try and cut it out as much as possible. Um, so we're going to be doing a Q&A. Um, I got some questions this week, all from one person, and you know who you are, so thank you. Um, I swear, every time that I ask for questions, I just get loads from one person, which is really helpful, but I just wish more people would give me some questions. But I think people are just too shy that it, they're going to be named and everything, but obviously it is all anonymous. But yeah, so they're all um, like cake business related again, um, which I really like. I'm trying to veer my channel kind of in the way of like baking, but I also want to do like home videos and hauls and like clothing stuff still. But I'm also going to be doing um, like a more slightly refined content. So yeah, if you want to like and subscribe, then please do and hit the bell if you're into baking because I do a lot of like educational kind of videos on like inspections, all of the paperwork you need to have. I've got quite a few more coming up. I've got a list of about 10 that I need to do. So yeah, but we're going to get right into it. Cleo is currently on my lap, but she's probably going to want to get down in a minute, aren't you? <laughs> so yeah, let's get right into it. So we've got two that are on Instagram. Um, that like answered in the poll and then I'll switch and go to like the messages. So um, the first one is do you think starting up in lockdown either positively or negatively impacted how like successful the business was? Um, I think it was kind of a bit of both. Um, it's difficult now because we're going into kind of a second lockdown. Um, so whereas before people are on furlough so they still have money to spend on stuff. Um, now we're going into the second lockdown or not necessarily lockdown because in my area it's not a lockdown but in some areas it is um it means that you're kind of unsure as to whether people are going to be buying stuff because there isn't furlough at the moment um so obviously if people don't have the money to be spending but i have still found that i'm making the same amount as i was in like i mean i'm making more than i was in june and july um but kind of like august september october have all been the same and we weren't in a lockdown in August. So um, I think at the moment it's still the same. I think Christmas is gonna be big because I have a feeling that they're locking us down and like restricting us now. And then at Christmas, they're just gonna open it back up again. And I think that's so that obviously everyone can see their family. So I think they're just kind of preparing us for that. So I think that it hasn't, it's difficult. I'm like rambling now, but um, I think if you started a business years ago when it wasn't as popular, then you're going to be bigger now. So like people like Finch Bakery are very big um, and that is because they started 10 years ago when it wasn't popular and then now they've been going for so long that they've got such a like name for themselves. But I think starting in lockdown, I wouldn't have started if we didn't have a lockdown. So if COVID hadn't hit, I probably would have stayed in my same job and I wouldn't have had the time to think about what I actually wanted to do. So I would say that it's a positive because I haven't had any like bad business. My business has been very good. Um, and I also wouldn't have started the business if it wasn't for lockdown. Um, so the next one is, did you think you'd be as successful as you have been? Um, I honestly didn't expect to get like any cake orders. Um, and then I've had quite a lot, so that's really nice. Um, and just having the feedback, like I have a few like really regular customers. Like I have a girl, you'll probably know who you are if you're watching this, but um, she's ordered about five cakes from me and she says that they're amazing every single time. Um, and she always comes back for more and that's just really nice that every single time she comes back, um, and obviously she ha she's happy with my pricing um, because, you know, you do get those inquiries and like if you're in the cake business then you'll know. Um, but you get ones where they say, you know, you're too expensive and it's like, unfortunately I have to pay myself an hourly rate. And I mean, if you look at an office job, you get paid £12 an hour, so why can't I? Um, so 
yeah, I did kind of worry that people wouldn't want to pay because, I mean, you can go to Tesco's and get a cake for £10 and that saves you loads of money. But I think it's surprising, like, when you're in the business, you kind of realise how much people want a personalised item, something that's made for them and not store-bought because it's just a lot more special. So I didn't expect to be as successful. I think I've got a long way to go because, I mean... Like, I've got my first wedding cake in 2022, and I think I'll feel more successful once I've got a few weddings, like, done, um, which is going to be really nice because I think it's such an important day. Like, my sister does weddings, which I'll get on to um, later on, but she does wedding makeup, and whenever I've helped her out and, like, assisted her, it's always been so rewarding because it's such a nice day to be a part of. So, yeah, it's um, it's interesting. I think that I'll feel more successful once I've done a few, like, more weddings, like, bigger orders, because they are very important orders, and there's a lot more stress on it. So once I've kind of completed that and ticked that off the list, and then I feel a lot more confident doing it, because, like, this is going to be my first one, so it's going to be pretty scary. But, um, yeah, I think once I've done a few more, like, bigger orders, then I'll feel a little more successful than I do now. Then, so getting on to the kind of wedding kind of stuff, um, they asked that I said I wanted to do more wedding cakes, which I do, um, and then they said, have you ever thought about doing um, more than just baking, um, like catering, cafe, that kind of thing? I do really want to have a shop um, where you can have employees and you have a stock of, I think I said this in one of my other videos, but every day you have a stock of like brownies, cupcakes, um, blondies, which I actually don't sell blondies at the moment, I just do brownies. Um, but I wanted to just have a stock of like so many different flavours where people can just come in. Like I love Lola's cupcakes, like I, whenever I go to London I always go to Lola's cupcakes and they have so many different cupcake flavours and I just love it. And it's kind of that on the street kind of takeaway kind of feel to it where people can just stop by there's no kind of restaurant that kind of thing so I really want to have something like that where it's kind of like an open shop you don't come in and sit down um, it's kind of a takeaway but I really like the idea of that even if I did kind of pop up ones to try it out I want to try a market um, if anyone has any ideas or if you've done one before if you're into baking because I really want to do a market where you bake you know a hundred things and then you go to a market and you sell them all like per item so yeah I'm trying to work out how that all works but I really want to do that um, and then they said um, about my sister makeup and hair would we ever consider doing like wedding planning so like joining because I do cakes and she does um, wedding hair and makeup and I actually think this may be a good idea um, obviously I don't know how it all works, I'd have to look into it a bit more. Um, but I think because you get to know venues, you get to know um, other colleagues that supply services, so like photographers, other hair and makeup artists, um, you know, florists, all of that, like dressmakers, when you're in that kind of industry, it means that you might be quite good at wedding planning because like if I, I have to set up at venues, so it means that I might have contacts from those venues, I might have, there's certain photographers that only work for certain venues, like they're exclusive to that venue, so whoever books them can then book that photographer. And it's like, you might get those kind of contacts if you're doing more weddings. I think I'd have to do more cakes to um, sort of know what I'm doing with it, because I would want to build up quite a few contacts and then when you do the wedding planning, you've got a few people that you could recommend that you know are good. Um, and then you can also do more research on more specific to what people want. Um, but I think it would be quite good to have a few contacts under your belt. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love like party planning, all that kind of stuff, like the idea of it. Um, so I would have to see what it's like, but that would be quite exciting if we did that. Um, so those were all the questions. It was a nice, like short and sweet one. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do what I did in my other video because people seem to like the photos at the end. So I'm gonna insert photos of my recent orders since the last one we did. Um, so there's been a few Halloween ones. So I think, let me know if you wanna see it, 
Um, but I was thinking I might do like a how-to for my Halloween boxes. So I was thinking, because I've done a few postals which will be there for Halloween, because I'm currently filming, this video is going out um, two days later, it usually goes off on a Sunday but it's going off on Tuesday. But it's currently the 27th, so those orders have gone out and they will reach the customers by Halloween. Whereas I've got some collections where I make it for Friday and Saturday and then they have it for Halloween but it's made later. So I was thinking of doing like a packaging Halloween orders with me. Let me know if you want to see it. Um, and it can go up this Friday. I'm also doing a KitchenAid review which will either go up on Friday or it might go up on Tuesday. I'm going to see. Um, but that I'm going to be testing the speed, the usability, um, I'm going to be testing all the different attachments, giving a review on the shield, um, there's like a pouring shield that I bought for mine and I also bought an extra um, like paddle, um, it's a beater that's got a silicone edge, if you're into baking and like KitchenAids then you'll probably know what I'm on about, but it means that you can scrape the edges, so I'm going to review that as well because I've got quite a few little attachments, I haven't got any of the food processor kind of attachments for it, but I've got um, like the accessories. So I was going to do a whole review because a few people have asked me for it recently. So I wanted to make sure that I get that out soon because I'm being asked for it. So yeah, that might go up Sunday or Tuesday, I think. We will see. Depends if you want to see the Halloween one because that needs to go out first because of Halloween being so close. And we have Vlogmas. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this. Um, obviously, if you're not into Vlogmas, you can skip a little bit ahead. Um, I'll probably put a timestamp somewhere because I'm going to be talking about this for a little while. Um, I'm just going to bring up my list. So I did Vlogmas last year and I loved it but I was very unorganised. So I didn't kind of know what Vlogmas was. I just saw on the 1st of December that everyone was posting all these Vlogmas videos and I was like what's going on? Um, and I'd only had my YouTube for a like six months at that point so I didn't really know what it was and I realised that you post every single day for um, up until Christmas so the 25th. Some people post all the way till New Year I think that's what I did last year so I didn't realise and I filmed a video on the first and got it up on the first but then I was always behind because I was filming that day for that same day to upload whereas I soon realised that people film in November and they get all their videos filmed in November and then you can film some in December but it means you're not filming every single day and editing which is really really hard especially if you're working so I wanted to start filming in November I've got quite a long list so I'm going to go through them all and if you have any ideas of anything you particularly want to see cake related or like normal home stuff let me know um, because I'll add it to the list and quite a few of these I can film early because they're kind of how-to videos um, baking related mainly um, but I can film those kind of anytime and I want to get my Christmas promos for like cakes, cupcakes, brownies out in November so I'm going to be doing all my Christmas promos for my Instagram, Facebook so that people know what they can order so they can do a pre-order and order for Christmas so I'm going to be doing that anyway, so I thought why not film most of them. So I'm going to go through the cake ones first. So it's um, how to make Christmas fondant toppers for cupcakes. I'll put an example in if you don't know what these are. But it's like sugar paste toppers that can go on cupcakes. So you could have like a Santa hat or a Christmas tree or you could have like um, a snowman or you know, you get the gist. But Or a present, something like that. So. Um, it's how to make those and it will just be the toppers so it will be um, probably like a voiceover and it will literally just be of the fondant toppers no like chit chat um, there might be like an intro and an outro but it's not going to be like a face one um, all these how to's will be like directed at the fondant and it will be detailed on how to do it any tips into like drying storing all of that so yes, um, that's the first one. Then um, how to make fondant figures. 
So I was thinking if you're making cakes, then you might want a like snowman, Santa, reindeer, um, polar bear, like literally anything. I'm going to make a couple and they are like actual 3D toppers rather than the flat toppers that can go on a cupcake, which are a lot smaller. So going to be making those. Then there's how to make hot chocolate bombs. So these are like cake pops, which I make a lot. Um, but instead of being filled with cake, you put like marshmallows, um, cocoa powder, like hot chocolate powder. Um, you can also put like sprinkles, literally anything you want. You can fill them with whatever you want. And then you put it in either hot milk or hot water. I can't remember. I haven't um, researched them very much, but obviously I will before I start making them. But um, you put them in that and then it melts because it's chocolate. So the cake pop melts and then you end up with like a hot chocolate, which is really nice. So I wanted to try those out and obviously do a little tutorial for you. Then there's cinnamon banana loaf um, and it's a recipe video. I make this all the time. It's like banana bread, but I put cinnamon flavoring in it and then it kind of makes it Christmassy because I love cinnamon. Um, if I can find like gingerbread, then I might try and make it more like gingerbready, but it's whether I can find like a syrup or something that I can use in it. Then there is decorating Christmas cakes. So I have a, um, a like a dummy cake, which again, if you're into cakes, you'll know what this is. It's like a polystyrene cake, which I bought ready for Christmas. So I'm gonna be doing all my promos um, on this dummy. So it means that all you have to do is ice it. You don't actually bake the cake inside, which means you don't have to then eat it to get rid of it. Um, so I'm gonna be, doing that and I'm going to be doing a few designs so again for the promo I'm going to be doing reindeers and rain reindeer cake um wreath drip cake which I thought was really nice and then um just standard drip cakes but of Christmassy colours so those are like my Christmas options because I've been looking into it and I don't want to be doing 20 different ideas I would prefer if I have like a kind of Christmas menu where people can personalise it a little bit, but it's not going to be um, crazy different things. Um, if I get a few requests, I'll obviously do it, but I want the bulk of orders. So if I said, right, I've got five reindeer cakes to make, it's easier to make five of the same cake um, in like a busy week, because it's going to be very busy for Christmas, than uh, making five different things. So yeah i was gonna do promos on the reindeer cake which i'm really excited for it's like the unicorn cakes that i do but obviously it's reindeer um so you do the same with the frosting detail on the top and like ears and nose and everything but they're really cute um then there's christmas cake decor haul because i need to get loads of um stuff for like xmas treat boxes all the cakes um like fondant for cupcakes so I need to buy all of that in bulk and in advance um, I'm gonna do a bulk order haul as well which will be separate which is where I buy all my cake boards um, cake boxes I don't buy food coloring off there I don't think but I might be getting a few Christmas colors because they do particular colors like sugar flare do particular colors that I want um, but that will be a separate one as well where it's like buying bulk um, and I go through all of the places that I shop for those bulk items and then um, there's package Christmas orders with me which will probably be Etsy so any postal orders I'll show you how I package them what little treats I put in there um, how I do like the gift messages um, what I use for like my labeling tissue paper um, yeah all of like my packaging and like explain where I get it from then there's how to make Christmas tree cupcakes which are really really cute um, so it's literally a cupcake and then it's got a massive Christmas tree on the top. So it's, the Christmas tree is like this tall and then the cupcakes like that. Um, but they look really, really cool. I don't know how you'd box them up though. That's what I need to figure out because I'll need to buy boxes for them. But if I'm going to like tell people that I'm selling them, um, then there's decoration shopping. These are just normal video ideas that I always do. Um, I did them last year for Vlogmas. So decoration shopping any hauls like Christmas hauls, food, anything like that, um, putting up the tree which is going to go up a week before um, so that I can film it and it will be up on the 1st of December because you always have to put it up on the 1st of December so that will be going up then there's decorating my room 
um, cozy evening with me, which I thought I would include the hot chocolate bombs, a little pamper sesh, and also maybe a little bit of baking, um, but like a shortened version. So rather than like a step-by-step -step recipe, it will be sort of a glossed over, maybe like time-lapse kind of video. Um, then there's trying Christmas coffees because I always like to try all of the like Starbucks Costa drinks because I love gingerbread, um, I love like cinnamon, um, lattes, all of that. So yes, I'm super excited for all the Christmas drinks to come out. And then I've been wanting to try this one as well, which I think I'm going to do, is the only eating advent calendar food for 24 hours. So there's actually some surprisingly good advent calendars that you can get. So you can get like cereal ones, you can get crisps, you can get chocolate, you can get tea, like literally anything. It's quite surprising what you can find on Amazon. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do that and then I can film that for the whole day. So that'll be interesting. Um, and then I probably should have done this at the start. So if you're into baking and you've got this far, then well done because I probably should have mentioned these at the start. So these are the baking videos that I have coming up. So I have a kitchen storage tour which will be showing you where I store all my ingredients, the kind of layout of it all. Um, it won't be too in depth because I'm going to do a separate video on how I label items. So what labelling I use, what items you have to label, um, where they should be stored because obviously like nut products need to be stored in a separate cupboard or in a separate kind of tray or box um, and then it's all about like resealing items so what I use to package items that have been opened all that kind of thing then I'm going to do one on my costing spreadsheet so I made a costing spreadsheet where I have each recipe so I just have like Victoria sponge 8 inch Victoria sponge 6 inch and it will say how much it costs me to make that um, including the cake drum, the cake box, um, all like the icing, buttercream, the actual cake mix and then if it's like a drip cake then I've put that you can add a pound on because like that's how much the chocolate costs and then if I use, if it's like a coloured drip then I have to use a different recipe so then that might cost more or less so yeah I've got a whole list for costing which I think might be quite interesting. Um, and it also goes into like hourly rate, so like mine is around £12 an hour, but sometimes less, which isn't really good, but um, you know, sometimes people expect cakes for like £20 and with ingredients you just can't do that. So I think the costing spreadsheet is quite interesting because a lot of people say, well, what if they won't pay that? And it's like, well, unfortunately, that's how much it costs. So it just gives you a breakdown so that if your customers do say, oh, well, that's a bit expensive, you can kind of explain to them, well, this is my hourly rate, this is how much it costs. And then even if they don't go ahead and buy, at least you've like justified it. I mean, you don't have to, I usually don't. Um, but if you really wanted to, then you could break it down because you know that you haven't just plucked a number out of thin air. You know that that's actually how much it costs. So yeah. Um, and then I'm going to be doing how to make cake pops, how to make drip cakes because I'm making a Biscoff drip cake this week. Um, so I was going to do a little video on that, so that will be coming up soon. And cake pops, I wanted to do a how to just in case people wanted to see that. Um, I've got to do the KitchenAid review. <laughs> I've got so many that need to go up like imminently um, because people have been requesting them. So I'm trying to get them all out as soon as possible. So please bear with me. Um, if there's any that you want me to prioritise, please let me know because then at least I know that you want to see that first. So like the KitchenAid, I've had a couple of people mention that, so I'm trying to prioritise that one. Um, but if there's any others you want me to prioritise, then let me know. Um, and then I was going to go through setting up a Facebook page and socials, so like Instagram, um, I don't think there's anything else, like email um, and website. Um, there's also Shopify and then there's an actual website so I was probably gonna show you how to do an actual website but that will probably be an extra video like all in its own so I was gonna briefly go over my Shopify which I don't actually use anymore um, so I might do I might not um, but otherwise it will include my Etsy so it will be Instagram Facebook and Etsy because I now have an Etsy page and I'm trying to get into weekly brownie orders I've had quite a few for Halloween um, which has kind of been like getting the ball rolling 
because with Etsy it's quite difficult because there's so many brownie sellers on there you need to get a few sales because when you've got zero sales on there and then someone else has like 200 obviously they're going to go for them unless you've got something particular about you which luckily mine were the only Halloween brownies that looked the way they did everyone else's were a lot simpler um, there weren't as much detail and mine were also cheaper than everyone else's um, which is just my normal pricing but everyone else was kind of upping their prices for Halloween so I think that's why mine sold but I'm hoping that maybe I can do like weekly drops and then I sell like one flavour a week or maybe like a couple but um, different ones every week to kind of rotate so that I'm not doing 20 different flavours and then I've got to kind of keep track of that as well as all my other orders so I'm thinking I will do like weekly drops of maybe like three or four flavours and then um, send those all out so yeah I really want to get into that so I'll put my Etsy below if you're interested because I post all over the UK um, I posted some to Cardiff today which is nice because um, obviously the person that they were for they were all gift ones um, the Halloween ones they were all sent as gifts so they weren't sent to the buyer um, but it was nice because they put like a little Halloween message in there obviously they can't see them because Wales is locked down so it's nice that you can like send gifts to people far away so I mean that works with the normal brownies it doesn't have to just be for Halloween you can send them anytime so yeah I think it's nice to um, be able to send people a little gift as like a pick me up but yes that is my list of everything that I need to do so um, if you're interested in any of those videos then make sure that you hit the bell and subscribe so that you get notified about them and I'm gonna leave this here now I haven't even drank my coffee I've just been talking too much I end up talking so much in these videos that I don't actually drink my coffee um, so yeah but if you did enjoy then please hit the thumbs up and I will see you in the next one bye